Hi, I'm Torsten Nielsen and I'm the Principal Investigator from the Sonova Sarcoma Group here in Vancouver. And what the goals are of our study are to figure out really why the Sinova Sarcoma Oncoprotein is able to contribute to cancer, what it does, uh, we believe, to the epigenetic systems that, that change the biology of the cell and make it from a normal cell into a cancerous cell, and what special features are about the cell that, that allow this oncogene to happen. And we think with these new technologies, especially being run by some of our partner groups, we'll be able to identify some of those critical genes and figure out ways to monkey wrench that, to, to try and turn that against the cancer to develop a specific set of treatments for synovial sarcoma. And here in Vancouver, we're also going to work to develop some new model systems that can, we think, quickly translate that into new ideas. And I'm part of clinical trials groups in Canada and internationally that can help take that forward into new clinical trials for patients uh, in a hopeful effort to, to turn the science that we have and what we found out about synovial sarcoma into new treatments. One of the frustrating things about synovial sarcoma is that we have been able to find the critical oncogene that seems to cause this cancer, but we don't have any drugs that block it. So instead, we're using an exciting new uh, technology, siRNA screening, to try and narrow down the list of candidate partners uh, to find out which are the critical genes that are involved in the epigenetic modifications that, that are involved in creating the permissive state that lets this tumor oncogene work and figure out which of those we can attack with existing drugs. Hi, I'm Amanda. I'm an MD-PhD student working on the Synovial Sarcoma Project from Vancouver. And specifically my research is looking at a new model for Synovial Sarcoma in zebrafish. Now this is a transparent fish that's really cool because you can track the growth of cancer cells as they change within the fish's body and you can even add drugs to the water to test them out. Um, I'm excited about this research because I think it is going to be really relevant in helping the young patients with a lot of life ahead of them um, using the technology and science we have right now to find a cure.